contract i can sign i know my signature the point is as per the contract act which gives you the rules of who can sign a contract you are not allowed to sign a contract if you sign a contract it is invalid because the act the rules do not say so so one more time what is an act it's a set of rules who makes the rules the head of our family the government of india we choose them are those rules enforceable on the family yes can i question them yes you, every indian has the freedom to file a public interest litigation in the court of law to challenge anything that is enforced on you but then the court will decide and the government will then take action that's a separate procedure for us the question is like who has to pay income tax who has to pay vat we will answer them by reading the respective books so once i go there the other question would be would the rules of india be applicable to the rest of the world now if this is the indian government this is let's say the us government will each family have different rules does that mean the income tax act in india and the income tax act in us will be different but of course because the head writing the rules are different will the service tax act in india and the service tax act in us be different but of course so what you are learning is the rules applicable to your country and what are you supposed to do then tomorrow you are sitting in your office you are now a chartered accountant you can smile your client is sitting in front of you now the client asks you a question sir can i sign a contract what are you going to do are you going to scratch your head or are you going to with your knowledge of the contract act advise the client on how and when and if he can sign a contract which means as a ca i am not giving my advice i am only giving advice because i have read all the rules which were framed by the government i am only the guy who's supposed to read the rules given by them and then advise the public on how those rules are supposed to be followed okay he is going to ask you a question do i need to pay service tax you what will you do can you answer this question after having read the contract act no so you will read the service tax act he will ask you a question sir how do i form a company and is a company required to pay income tax now there are two questions here how do i form a company you read the companies act am i required to pay income tax read the income tax act so last time what is an act we had started by these five questions we raised we need to read the act how many acts are you required to read the direct taxes and the indirect taxes you are required to read then there are laws corporate laws that you are required to read all i want is if by chance your attention span is going down because these lectures i have not kept for or we have not kept for 3 3 hours for 4 hours no or my belief is even a movie you can't tolerate for more than 2 hours now so if you feel your attention span is going you have the option to pause i shall stop there play when you're ready so listen to me and listen to me attentively note down your queries if you have any because hopefully i will solve all of them uh, during the course but remember this is a jigsaw puzzle when you pick up the puzzle when you put the first piece you can't see the picture you put the second piece third fourth fifth sixth picture dekhni shuru hoti hai but when will you be able to see the whole complete picture is when you put the last bit in so i will start with the income tax act but we will understand the entire story only once i completed and by then hopefully we will have answered a lot of queries then you need to read the rules circulars notifications judgments tab ja ke overall understanding of the act hogi so you will understand the act once we have understood each word now we will stop here for the first lecture the next lecture will talk about what are rules 
what are circulars, what are notifications, what are judgments. Then I will also be talking about what is the bill, finance bill, what is the finance act. Then we will also understand the relevance of a very important word in direct taxes called interpretations and how interpretations affect the understanding of the act. Once this is complete, then we will start with the basis of charge of income tax and we will open that book called the Income Tax Act and start reading what the government of India wants us to learn to advise the public. Have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Take care. See you again.